Hi channel and welcome to my guys. What? Hi and welcome to my vlog. So hi guys, welcome to another random video. So I got bored at home. <laughs> And went around the house and found this old pal. You may already be hearing it. And decided to make a video out of it. So we're gonna play today Jenga. Jenga. Here they are. Bishop Plenty over here. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna. But I'm gonna play this. Alone. Cause I'm alone. So to play, you just build, build, build a tower, then remove blocks with strategy, then put it on top of the tower, stack it up, and if it falls down, you lose. So, uh, I finished setting up this old boy, which was quite the work, but yeah, and Well, you might be wondering why I'm doing a content like this. Honestly, the way I played the Jenga was wrong, and I admit that. But I'm not here to play nor teach you how to play Jenga. I'm here to discuss something. Have you noticed what's happening in our community lately? Have you? Well, I'm neither talking about the pandemic nor the number of COVID cases, but I'm talking about the number of suicide cases in our community, particularly in students, suddenly increasing. And I got very alarmed with this and realized something. The act suicide has been happening for years. Time has passed, but have we ever done something to put this into a hole? Well, I don't think so. There are reasons why people commit suicide, but let me go into the point of view of a student. Time surely has changed, but Studying is still important. As they say, ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. Studying is important as it empowers you with the knowledge needed to conquer with the world and make a better society. But it's not that easy. Students don't study just that easily. They study while dealing with their own problems they encounter in the way. It can be academic problems, family problems, financial problems, personal problems, and many more. And at times like that when they encounter problems, that's the very time when they need someone to talk to. If there's no one for them to talk to, those problems might pile up, grow into them, and might end them. Taking as an example, the Jenga. The tower is the student, and the wooden block remove is the problem if these wooden blocks remove piles up more and more without considering how much it's going to stand up on its own it will fall down if students were to deal with their problems on their own these problems might grow and grow and someday will break them down and here is where the solution comes in we need school psychologists now. So who are these psychologists and what do they do? Psychologists study cognitive, emotional, social processes and behavior by observing, interpreting, and recording how people relate to one another and to their environments. In simple words, they are able to explain why people act the way they do. What can we get? from having psychologists in schools. Students, particularly high school students, are vulnerable to committing suicide. 
Why? Because they are in the age of going through adolescence, where they are the most in need of support with their thoughts and emotions. Them being pressured from academics and personal problems in the state they are in can lead them to have depression and have anxieties. Well, you could easily say that they just need to talk to someone, like their friends and family. But the case here is that sometimes we don't get the empathy we are looking for from them, and some may not have someone like them. That's why we need school psychologists in the province. They can be that someone that the students need, someone to talk to, and open up with their problems and anxieties. Besides that, psychologists can help them improve their decision-making, stress management, and behavior. This way, they can help the students have a better and positive view about things and be able to cope up with the problems they are carrying. Not only do the students get benefited, but also, having psychologists in schools can help in the case of unemployed psychologists in the province and in the country. Though there are a number of psychology graduates in the country, the number of unemployed psychologists is greater and they mostly choose to work abroad where there are more opportunities available for them. On top of that, having them around where people are more aware of their existence would remove the stereotype people have for them. Let's be real here, whether you agree or not. It is widely held here in the Philippines that visiting psychologists is something that people with mental abnormality or what they say, crazy people do. As a result, people don't seek for psychologists bearing in mind that they might be called crazy by other people, which is a very wrong way of thinking. We need school psychologists now. If this campaign we, the Catalyst for Change, are proposing comes into being, a lot of things may change. People won't see psychologists as what they think they are anymore. Instead, we'll recognize of what big help they are. In addition to that, the unemployed rate of psychologists will be decreased. And not to mention, they can help in making the number of suicide cases of students in the country be reduced, helping the students be able to cope up and pull through the problems they are in and change the way they behave for a better future. Depression, anxiety disorder, and suicide in students. This may not be a problem to you, but these are matters in the society that we must put an end to. If students are free from this and have positive views in life, we can expect a better society and a better future. We need school psychologists now. So, are you with us? That's all for today. If you want to learn more about our campaign, make sure to check the link in the description box below. And if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!